<laughs> okay, speaking of Christian influencers, <laughs> Kanye West drops uh, Vulture 2 um, by surprise yesterday. Um, this morning, honestly. This, this morning? morning, yeah. Uh, so, what the people who did hear it, what did y'all think? Um, I heard it. Sounds like more of the same to me. <laughs> what do you What do you think? Um, I mean, the stuff that I did here. I mean, Kanye. Um, I, was, I guess what we was talking about earlier was like it was a time when Kanye, even though when he was on, like when he even was past the whole Jesus walks thing, the Jesus, the my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, even the life of Pablo, he was still. You still had some f- something from him that would be like. Like even like a all falls down if you get that song is even though it's like he's cursing in it but it's still some type of message in it. Mm-hmm. I felt like he's just not there no more. It just it just feels like it's it's and then I think some of the songs that I've heard like I've heard some of those some of the songs on this one was supposed to be on Donda too. So if it's mixed messaging like like we, you played the um what was the name of the song Sean the Sky Sky City City Sky City, Sky City. Sky City. Yeah. like I think that was that sound like something that was off of like a Christian album you mm-hmm. know what I mean that he may rearrange he, he may rearrange the lyrics or read the, mm-hmm. the lyrics and stuff but overall I just think I think he's he gone bro I'm <laughs> like, done with him I don't, like, I don't even talk about him anymore <laughs> I think he gone man like I was just like I was like everything is sex it's like sex or drugs you know, a reference to just sex and drugs. And maybe, I don't know if it's because he was an R&B singer and that's maybe that's the feel too, but it's just I, sex and drugs. I get the vibe Kanye is mad at God for whatever reason. I feel like... For sure, the Donda. I feel like he came to God with expectations for God to move a certain kind of way. And when he didn't, he went back to, I'm gonna take matters into my own hands. But the question is, what is that? What was he looking for God to do? So you look at... You look at his career. Look at that. His mom passed away. Yeah. Um, you look at his career. Probably the uh, the Adidas thing. They've been using the shoes, still making money off his name to this day. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and locked him out of that. He he took a lot of losses. Didn't you know he saying? say something crazy to get himself locked out of that situation? He though? said yeah. some anti-Semitic statements. Exactly. Or something so like that. yeah. But yeah, I didn't tell you to open your mouth. Up. But when you got, <laughs> yeah. But at the same part. time, though, as we all know, everybody don't have a proper understanding. You know how Kanye's person. Who discipling Kanye? That part. Yeah. Who finna go and tell Kanye what to do? Carl Lance. <laughs> Good luck with that. You got a so, discipling deficit. Yeah. In the Carl Lance? So Kanye, pretty much, he gonna think he's mentally superior to whoever comes in the room and try to talk to him. He gonna have his own interpretation. He feel like he can pick up anything and do it. So he gonna pick the Bible up and do the same thing. So. When you have bad teaching with no discipleship and now God doesn't meet your expectations and you got money and power, you looking at it like, well, I came to God thinking he was going to do this. He didn't show up like I thought he would. So now I had the money and power now to make things happen. I don't need God. Matter of fact, I am God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it feels like to me he he was looking for something a man could do for him versus what God was like if God would he tell you to be family? still. You know what I'm saying? God would tell you to be still and, and know the purpose for everything that's happening. Mm-hmm. And to me it feels like he was waiting on a pastor to check him or you know what I'm saying, like somebody to stop being fake with him. Yeah. Like you said, God would say be still and know, but if you don't got nobody to teach you the Bible for real, how you gonna know? His father's a pastor though, right? Who? His father Kanye? Was a pastor. Oh, I think Kanye. his father was like a pastor. His father was a pastor. Did he know his father? I'm not yeah. yeah, he still he, he his still, father was uh, on the album, wasn't he? Yeah, his father was in that um Follow God video. But yeah. he he goes with that. No, I didn't know that. But yeah. still though, with his relationship with his father probably impacted the way he looked at God too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure he wasn't close to his dad like he was with his mama. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that probably your your dad a pastor That's and you don't have the best relationship, that might impact the way he looks at God. So you lose your family, you you lose your money. Since you came to Christ, now you lost your family when you came to Christ. You lost all your money when you came to Christ. You, everything that I cared about, pretty much, I done lost since I came to Christ. This not working for me. Let me try to do my. And it but happens every day. I, I think the question goes bad back, teaching. The, I guess I guess the question mm-hmm. goes back to like, I, and I said this in our previous Kanye video, like, what did you do to try to help your family? Because I always think about that that um, that movie Fireproof, when he was like going through the the, the situations and then. Somebody, I think his dad was like, are you really taking this seriously? Are you really trying your best to get back your wife? And he was like doing stuff just to do it. He wasn't like really intentionally doing it. And I sometimes I feel like God is like, you know, you praying about something and God is like, 
I'm, I'm giving you the strength to do it. Mm-hmm. Like, 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 get right with your wife and like treat her with some respect, treat her with love, treat her with some kindness, mm-hmm. and show and be the man that she needs you to be. Then you got to deal with mental illness too. So you yeah. got you got mental yeah, illness coming into play. You got bipolar disorder. You got your yeah. wife who's a thought who's Jesus. showing her. <laughs> I'm Jesus. sorry. I, I was going there. But she go she her, her her whole her whole marketing and how she makes money is um over sexualization. Yeah. So that's Which how he she. Created. Well, he going to his new wife now. He let her into but that thing though. Wife. The relationship with God wasn't gonna work wasn't gonna work out the way he wanted it to because of who he was married to. His wife wasn't submitted. But when he came, yeah, and when he came to her and said, "Look, I don't appreciate you doing," she's like, "Hey, you on your journey? Did this and that? It wasn't no respect." Though. Exactly, you know and, and that's what I'm saying. But he, that was that was gonna. You, that's like that's like when God tells you you gotta love me more than anybody else. You okay, have so you're to. saying Kim is the reason why he's acting like this now? No, no, no. I'm saying Kim. I'm saying that he was never gonna win Kim over with the with the gospel. Oh, so maybe, you well, really think he was really about this at one point? I think he had to have been right. Like when he came in her and he was like, "We're Christians and we're going to church on Sunday. I'm taking the kids and doing the whoop." Like you have to be committed think, to see, something. I think he wanted this. he wanted her to be like. I think she. She wanted to probably be like Sierra and Russell Wilson. He tried to turn into like, a first lady. No, but what I'm saying is like like how Russell Wilson is not like hard on Sierra to be like put some clothes on, do this, do that. You know what I'm saying? Where he was like, "Hey, you know, I'm a man of God now. We got to change out. You're dressing too sexy." Like she probably wanted a little bit more leeway and like, "Yo, we learning the Bible together. That's great. We doing stuff together as family. We going to Sunday service. That's great. But this is my brand." And I'm not. I don't know if I'm going mm-hmm. to change my brand because right now you're saying this, but tomorrow you could be saying X, Y, Z. You get yeah, what I'm saying? I, I think it was Kim. You don't, all along. You I don't, think Kim's track record has gotten her to the point where she, she's she's not going to make that easy transition to Christ just because her husband is trying to lead her there. Nah. You think? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you think this the the this the disappointment with God played a factor though? I mean, because like I said, we don't really know who discipled him and really taught him for real. And we see it not just with Kanye or superstars. We see it with people every day. They come to God. They, I, when I came to God, I thought this was going to be better. I thought everything was going to be perfect. I thought I was going to get what I want. Like people are not being taught right because yeah, the true. real truth of the gospel by you're going to have to yeah. suffer. You're going to have to go through. Yeah. That's not going to pack your church out. Yeah, people yeah. Are like, why would I come to Christ if I'm still gonna suffer and go through? They don't understand the importance of having that relationship with Christ for mm. real. That too. So yeah. that, that I think that played a large role. You got money and power, and people gonna use that to their advantage. Like I'm gonna stay on Kanye good side because he gonna sow into this ministry. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of stuff that keeps him from really but hearing I, what the word. Really yeah, saying. I saw something when Ruzan was talking to a pastor that was helping him, and he was like, I was giving him the truth. He was like, I was telling him, I was telling him the truth. I was telling him about Jesus. I was telling him about the Bible. Like, I wasn't like, like, like just letting him do whatever you want. I was telling him the truth, and it was like that's up to him yeah. to believe this and live this thing out. I can't keep telling. Like, I'm telling you, like God. I'm not saying God gonna bless you or whatever, but I'm saying that Jesus requires a sacrifice. Yeah, it ain't appealing. Yeah. It's so, not. eat my flesh and drink my blood. That ain't appealing. This is yeah. a hard saying, Lord. Yeah. So on yeah. on um, Sky City, this is one of the uh, most of the album is just like you know, <clears throat> come have sex with me. Um, I'll I'll you know I'll get you. I'll I'll send I'll the goons you. after you. <laughs> trying to say not, <laughs> trying to you, said, YouTube safe words here. He said, um, and uh, you know stuff like that, like just just random, just yeah. sexually driven things, right? But there was one reference he had to God on Sky City. There was another one on River and one more, just bare, barely yeah. a reference. But he said, do having got a penthouse that I could rent out, I could see Rick James with his feet up on Prince's couch. Always wanted to know, did Biggie get a big house? Do Pac got a thug mansion? Is it pimped out? Is it a place for Jews and the Gentiles? Um, and he goes on to say, you know, his wife wants to know about, can he do this? Uh you know, and it, 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 you could say it's kind of in jest, but I wonder if in his mind he believes that everybody, and we're going to get into this a little bit more in a second, but does he really believe that everybody he loves or everybody he likes is in, in heaven? heaven? That yeah. you, as long as you just do really good and you're really successful, then you'll be with God. Is that why he's acting the way he is now? Because he mm. thinks it doesn't have any kind of impact. He kind of on that stuff Oprah on though. Mm. That God consciousness. 
type thing, Christ consciousness type thing. When you were saying, because he said, "I am God." We talked to the guy. He yeah. said, "I am yeah. He. I am here." Yeah. I put the gun on the table. And then Oprah, the same thing. If you do good and do this and do that, you'll go to heaven. So it kind of seemed like he on the same tip as her. Mm. Yikes. Um, I I believe I I think I don't think nobody believes anybody goes to hell unless you deserve to go to hell. Unless you unless you're a monster. Like I think everybody could. Everybody in the world would say Hitler's in hell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that's what people think. Except you have Trump, Trump you, say that. you 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 <laughs> you would have to do like something so crazy for people to be like, oh, that person is going to hell, or oh, that person that that dude that you saw on the news beat up on an old lady. Oh, he yeah. going to hell. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but I think people automatically think. Everybody